Your agent just called to give you the bad news. Appraisal came back and it came in 5,000 below contract price. Now what? With this hot market and multiple offers driving sales prices well over asking price, it isn't uncommon for appraisals to come in below contracted amount. In this video, I'd like to explain the appraisal process and what options buyers and sellers have when the appraisal comes back low. I'm Desi Williams, a licensed real estate broker and owner of Revista Realty operating here in Southern Idaho. An appraisal is required by lenders to prove the house is worth what someone's willing to pay for it. The appraisal is just one person's opinion of value on any given day. While it's supposed to be an unbiased opinion of value, there are several factors that are very subjective and they can vary quite a bit from person to person. Each appraiser will weigh attributes of the home differently. When your appraisal comes in below value, there's four different options. Option one, you can ask for an appraisal rebuttal. That's basically when the lender writes a formal letter with input from the real estate agents involved, asking for the appraiser to use a different comp or reevaluate value given or not given for certain attributes. We've tried this many, many times and have never had much luck. It's always crazy to me that they can't take into account the 15 other offers that people put in and all of them were willing to pay well above asking price, but they can't take that into account. So even though this is an option, it's not a very good option and it has a really low success rate. Option two, the buyer can come up with the cash out of pocket to make up the difference. So the bank can only lend on appraised value. For example, one of our recent transactions was under contract for $400,000. The appraisal came in at $378,000. Ouch. On this deal, the buyer was willing to make up the difference in cash. The bank was only willing to lend on the appraised value. The buyer was putting 20% down on $400,000, which is $80,000. The bank is now willing to lend 80% of the appraised value of $378,000, which means that the buyer's new down payment is gonna be $97,600. Option three, this one's definitely the most common. That's where the seller reduces the contract price to match the appraised value, or you can even do a hybrid option where they split the difference with the buyer. Basically, when the appraisal comes in low, it opens a whole new round of negotiations. This brings me to my last option, option number four. In my previous example, those sellers were not willing to reduce their sales price. Luckily, the buyer was able to make up the difference. That isn't always the case. Sometimes the buyer's not willing to come up and sometimes they wish they could come up but they don't have the cash to make up the difference. It's times like these, if the seller feels like the appraisal was way off, that they have the option to put the home back on the market. It's definitely a major bummer for the buyer in situations like this, but it happens more often than you'd think. A while back, I was selling the cutest little house. We were under contract at 80,000 and the appraisal came back at 72,000. The seller needed more money to be able to break even on this deal and the buyer couldn't come up with the extra cash. So we put the home back on the market and went under contract at 80,000 again. Less than two weeks later, the second appraisal came in at 82,000. It doesn't always shake out that way, but this time it was in favor of the sellers. If you've ever had an appraisal come in low, we want to hear about it. Share your story in the comments below and tell me what ended up happening. And don't forget, hit that like button and subscribe for future videos. Desi out.